Hello friends, my name is Jesse Pullman. I'm an author and creator from Long Island, New York. And today what I have for you in Build Log 2 is 31,109, the Lego Pirate Ship. It is still sealed in box. And we're going to go piece by piece through this build. We're going to build the boat. I have a use for it in my Lego Comic Chronicles of Alaron, link in the description. We'll have a fun time with this. I can't wait to see how this goes. My workplace, I got my glasses, my laptop, my drink, some keys. And I'm gonna do something that's probably unwise, but may hopefully not be. Just, oh yeah. Oh yes. That is what I am talking about. That is a lot of Lego. This is a lot of book. This is thick actually. Oh my. Um we got a lot to go through here, but if I remember when I looked at the building instructions online, it wasn't that bad, so we'll see how this goes. So it's actually funny, there are two instruction books, one for this Gull Island and one book for both the, uh, the boat and the little pirate house, which I kind of want the pirate house too, but that's another story. Um, buying the set twice because I need the boat for the comic. For those who are new at Lego and may not understand like the best way to go about this, you see how each bag has a number to it? This is number one. That's number eight. Um, these are all things that are there to help you build. I remember they weren't there in the old days. And the idea is that you start with bag one, you open up bag one, you, you crinkle, crinkle. I mean, you get the idea. It makes it a lot easier to build larger sets. So the book tells you that if you want to build the pirate ship, you turn to page five. That's this page right here. And it tells you to use bag one to take out minifigs and cannons and a shark. This is everyone's favorite part because these are easy to build. So we have bag one here. I tore a hole in the top so that if I need to put stuff back in, I can. Um, comes with a brick separator that's pretty cool those usually cost like three or four bucks these days as you can see we've got all sorts of people we've got cannons we've got pieces of people we're gonna do some quick little work and I'll be back to show you the fruits of my labor sometimes you get little bags inside of the bags that means you have to open a lot of different stuff up it's supposed to be designed to streamline the process of getting stuff together it's not a bad thing so it's going to be a bit hard to show this with one hand, but these are the cannons that actually shoot. So if you load a little piece into the muzzle, cock it back, and then you got to kind of pull this little thing back, and it shoots. Don't do this and put out your eye. Next up, you build this cute little duck. It's neat. It goes quack, it's blue. I didn't know there were blue ducks. Yes, I did. Then you build these wheels into the cannon. It's kind of realistic because cannons would often shoot and roll backwards to recoil. So you'll notice that the book gives you the end product of what you're trying to design and starts you off step by step and gives you a how-to guide to build all these different pieces. So. We are building what is either a whale or a shark. I can't tell what. Whale shark. And this is going to be fun. Because Lego has had like two-piece sharks before with their pirate sets back in the day. This is like a much more advanced design for a shark. Can't see how it's going to become a shark yet. Just give it some time. So now that we built this little guy here, we're going to take a look at this six-step instruction and build an extra piece to it. And that's going to help us build our shark along. So now you've got this. Now you've got this. You put them together. If you can do that one-handed. And now you've got this. It almost looks like a boat, doesn't it? But it also looks like it could be something else. Now it's got a mouth that can close. And just like that, we have a shark. It's got a face. It's got eyes. It's got menace. With that out of the way, it's time for bag two. 
But before that, we've got some dirty pieces here, or at least some pieces that I need to be someplace else. That's what the Ziploc is for. You can get whatever brand you want, but it stays sealed shut so you can make sure your dudes won't leak out all over the place. Bag 2 definitely ups the ante. If you can't really tell, you're taking these pieces and putting together a uh, the interior of the ship. It's also unclear, but you do need the uh, the bricks from this little baggie here as well. So you need bag two, but you also need a little more. Where are we going to put all the leftover hoists? In the Ziploc. I just tried to skip steps. You can see how this looks on here versus how it's supposed to look with the book. And you'll notice that there's an extra set of brown eight pieces that come into place. So I have some undoing to do. That's what the brick separator's for. Uh, we've got the very base of the shell built. We're gonna build out the interior a bit. And there, built to specifications, is bag two. You'll notice I have these two little guys free. They go in the Ziploc. Book, uh, bat, book. Bag three builds you what looks like the front of the boat. Starts with a big six by six. We've got a rudder. It moves. It's pretty cool. We've also got this much done so far. Next, we're building a box. What could it be? Starts off with a box. Got this box finished. Applied it to the thing. And I'm starting to see this ship shaping up. Now this looks like the back end of a boat. Um, I love how they did the red and the green. That really helps you to color differentiate which pieces go where. And it's kind of invisible on the build, it looks like, so you're not going to see too much of it. It's also kind of a real naval thing. There's like red and green, and I'm not an expert on it, but it's a thing. Next up is bag four, where we look like we are building the front of the boat. Will it involve the same kind of two-block structure? We'll find out. Well, now we built this. Next, we're building this. I'm betting we're building two of them, and that they're going to go one on each side. Am I right? We'll find out. These are the kind of builds... I'm bad at where you start off with like a little thing and you add a bunch of little things together. I'm really terrible at those. I see green here. I see red in here. And I think to myself, probably doing the same thing. It'll be interesting. Oh yeah, baby. Looks like we've got the boat coming along. Looks like we got the boat coming along. This will be fun. And here we have the finished bottom. Pretty much ready to go together with a shark and a mouse for scale. Next up is bag five, which is going to be more of the deck to the boat, which is usually an easier thing to build, but I'm sure they're also adding articulation in. So that'll be interesting. We'll see where it goes. But for now, it's dinner time. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this like a build log. I'm going to take a break now. We're going to do a part two of this where I finish the rest of the ship. Uh, I don't know when these are going to come out, but hopefully soon. And, um, hey, wait a minute. Who's this pirate lass, and why is she on a pirate boat? Maybe that's relevant to the comic. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed, hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons. Uh, it does help the channel grow, and it... Let's me know that people are watching, so I'll keep making more of these. Uh, other than that, uh, have a great day. Be safe.